Greetings, my fellow normies. It's Scott from Just a Normie. I just wanted to discuss um, another TV show that um, everybody's waiting for to drop on Hulu for, I believe it's season three of uh, The Orville, uh, created by Seth MacFarlane. Um, a better Star Trek than uh, what we're getting in Star Trek currently and stuff like that. But um, I know there have been a lot of rumors and all that stuff about where and when it might drop. Um, there's no certainty, no information in regards to that, when it's going to happen. I hope it does soon um, and all that. Um, I do think that um, we should um, just be patient, but it's going to be coming to Hulu and all that. There's been rumors that, um, that perhaps... It's done after season three, but we don't know what's going on because of the uh, COVID situation and all that stuff. I'm, I'm sure it makes it a lot harder and stuff like that. But I've seen interviews with um, Seth MacFarlane saying that he's been doing a lot of work and all that stuff. He's been doing a lot of editing from home. So um, I I trust him and stuff like that. And um, I think he's a very resilient uh, director, writer, and, and actor and stuff like that. So I, I think that um, we'll see something. Uh, interesting when that happens, you know, and, and all that. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the, you know, yeah. But um, so if you're not aware already, um, Orville uh, initially was on Fox and had been renewed, and apparently it is done very, very well uh, between. Um, I think it's something like five or six million um, per episode, stuff like that. And it's gone up and down, up and down, but it's never really gotten below four or five thousand, five million. So, um, but now it's considered a um, um, uh, going to Hulu and stuff like that. Um, if you don't know already, you can get a package deal with uh, Disney Plus for Hulu because Disney owns fifty-one percent of Hulu. Um, Orville creator Seth MacFarlane announced during uh, San Diego Comic Con in, 19, in 2019 that the show will be moving to Hulu for season three and all that, with Hulu itself being exclusively owned by Disney, just as the show's former network home of Fox, the shoe apparently fits. So I don't know, you know, how this is going to work and stuff, because I know that Disney right now is not making a lot of money. And that Disney is kind of hemorrhaging, you know, due to COVID and stuff. And the streaming network only made, brought in the last quarter, I think they said something like $53, $54 million. That's it. And stuff. I think that, um, you know, uh, you know, if Disney Plus is serious, maybe they should dissolve and buy up the rest of Hulu or whatever it is and just integrate it with its services and stuff like that, you know, and they should make a gateway for R-rated stuff or stuff that they don't like having and all that. But at this point, um, we should have heard something about when Orville Season 3 was going to drop on Hulu, which it was supposed to be traditionally uh, September of this year, like next month. Um, particularly with the move to the Hulu, I, I thought, you know, and stuff like that. And I have a little bit more leeway, a little bit more play because it's not traditional TV. So there's a lot more different rules, not rules, but lack of rules and, and stuff like that. So they can get away with a lot more stuff than they used to and stuff like that. I've heard that season three uh, likely won't be getting underway until late, late, late um, 2020. I'm not even sure what that is, you know. Um, Seth McFarlick ha had this to say, the Orville has been a labor of love for me. And there are two companies which have supported that vision in a big way. 20th Century's Fox Television, where I've had a great deal, had a, a deal since the start of my career. Fox Broadcasting Company, now Fox Entertainment, which has been my broadcast home for over 20 years. My friends at the network understood what I was trying to do with the series, and they've done a spectacular job of marketing, launching, and programming it for these two seasons. But as the show has evolved and became more ambitious production-wise, 
I determined that I would not be able to deliver episodes until 2020, which would be challenging for the network. So we began to discuss how best to support third season in a way that at worked for the show. It's exactly this kind of willingness to accommodate shows creative needs that made me want to stick around for so long. I'm hugely indebted to Charlie Collar and Fox Entertainment for their generous generosity and look forward to developing future projects there. And to my friends at Hulu, I, I look forward to our new partnership exploring galaxies together. <clears throat> so I think this is, is a good thing, you know. I mean, I think... I think Seth MacFarlane really knows what he has with Orville, you know what I'm saying? And, and all that, and, and I really appreciate that because, you know, Gene Rodberry that created Star Trek and stuff, he had a lot of stumbling blocks uh, early on and stuff like that, you know? Um, if you didn't know, it's, uh, TOS, and the reason I'm going in this, TOS, uh, Star Trek, um, was only on air for I think three or four seasons I can't remember stuff like that and then a few years later it jumped into cartoons well Gene didn't care as long as it was on TV he didn't care in what form it was in stuff like that you know and and Seth understands the marketing side and stuff like that he's got a huge following and a lot of the following is from Star Trek people like myself I'm I'm a very disappointed Star Trek fan and stuff and I I think that the ship is a little too clean and a little too bright in a lot of ways, stuff like that, and it's a little too basic, but I can work with it. I like the engineering department. I like their 10 forward uh, looking. It's a lot bigger and open space and stuff like that, and I've followed a few people on, on YouTube who have actually... Uh, been to the set to the Orville and they said it's just phenomenally awesome it's an entire sound stage built and stuff like that so it's it's real sets and stuff like that and I'm I'm, I'm really um I love that they do that with Star Trek and I think they do that with Star Wars too as well and, and all that and I really really appreciate that because I think this idea of using green screens and stuff like that really takes away from the realness of what these these shows are and stuff like that you know and I think um all the green screen stuff is a lot more expensive and all that. So, so the Orville's third season main cast is getting a new addition. Uh, Annie Winters is joining the Orville season, season regular, uh, according to Deadline, which recently revealed that she will be playing a character named Charlie Burke. Winters, an American actress, is coming off a uh, run on a show on ABC called Grand Hotel. Um, and on that, she also fielded runs on FX for Tyrants, Wicked Cities, The Fosters. I don't know who she is. And stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and of course, uh, Oroville is created by uh, Family Guy, Seth, Seth MacFarlane. If you haven't had a chance already, I would... Uh, it's got... Season 1 has got more humor in it than Season 2. And I think... And it was also played very, very safe, which I'm okay with, and stuff like that. It's the each season is ten episodes, of course, and all that. And I like that. I really enjoy ten episodes. What I don't enjoy is dumping the entire season, and all that. I think that it doesn't give enough uh, reason to talk about it and stuff. And that's why <clears throat> I am intentionally doing my reviews of the. Um, the Umbrella Academy uh, week by week because I want to discuss it. I don't want to and all that stuff. I know that's already passed and stuff like that, but and stuff and I'm working and, and all that stuff, but that's what I want to do. So let me know if you like that and stuff because I just don't like doing these dumps and stuff like that. I want more to talk about. So um, Orville's season three episodes, uh, Seth has stated and revealed that 20. 19 um, New York City Comic Con. The show's episode order would be slightly smaller for season three. Orville season three will receive only 11 episodes on Hulu. The good news is, however, is that the episodes stand to get a little longer, expanding by 10 minutes. So I might be a little wrong on the episode count for season one and two. Maybe there are 12 or 13 episodes. But remember, you got all the, you got probably about 15, 20 minutes of commercials because I was on Fox News. 
So with this, even if you get 11 episodes, you get 10 extra minutes. So you're getting almost a full hour. You know what I'm saying? So, so Orville's season three plot, like many finals in the TV landscape, the Orville season two uh, final could have served as a both fitting season and series end. There was certainly a consecutive finish to show's brief time travel arc. But since season three is on the way, this, this story will likely jump right into the further adventures of the Orville and his diverse crew. And while you're waiting for the Orville season three, you may want to make a note in your diary for Dark Horse comments that um, uh, Amazon Prime has um, has the boys coming for season two and all that So um, as well. I think that um, I think that um, I guess season three is going to kind of also reflect on like a lot of different areas and stuff like that. Um, there hasn't really been a lot of uh, thought on what that might be and stuff like that. But yeah, I wanted to mention that uh, Amazon Prime is going to be dropping another Dark Horse. Um, comic which i believe um the reason i was bringing it up is because orville has also got a dark a dark horse uh comic as well out too as well so you might want to pick that up and check it out um um <clears throat> i really want to see kind of a, a a little difference uh changes to the to the set in regards to the the bridge and stuff like i said it's way too basic for me um, another thing that I think that they should, um, uh, um, do as well. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you all. And I don't know if you all know this, but Orville is named after one of the Orville brothers of first flight and stuff, the Wright brothers and stuff. Um, yeah. So I didn't know if you really knew that. Um, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to close this out. It's just an opinion on what's going on. I just wanted to kind of update on Orville, where it's going, what's going on with it, and so on and so forth and stuff. Um, there's been a lot. I've got a list of things that I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to get out. I'm going to release them over time and stuff like that. It looks like my work schedule is, is uh, pulling back a little bit and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll be able to do some more stuff. Um if you can, please um, comment, subscribe, share, stuff like that. Um, yesterday, I can't, somebody else uh, subscribed. I had another subscriber. So I'm up to seven subscribers and stuff. I mean, that's very exciting. Um, I'm really happy to see it and stuff. Um, I want to thank you so much, all of you, for listening. And this is Scott. And I just want to say thank you to all my fellow normies out there. Take care. Be safe out there. And good night. And bye.